Previously, in the anime, as our anime was coming to an end, the spring break ends, and the new semester just began, the teacher told the class to choose a class president and VP, and the whole class chose Tsubasa and Minami for the job, both took the responsibility, and due to their job, they had to stay late even after school ended, but while returning home together, Minami asked Tsubasa to pick a free day to meet her because she has something important to tell Tsubasa, and Tsubasa thought. Minami wants to propose to him, he was waiting for her near the station. And there Minami arrived a bit late, she wanted to take Tsubasa for an outing, but she was keeping it a secret from him, then they took the train because the place is pretty far away, and along the way Minami dozes off, but her shining looks made Tsubasa admit she looks gorgeous, and just like that they arrived in Abshiri town, they took a little detour to ride by bicycle, and then sat down at a diner to eat. Then they went to a store where Minami asked Tsubasa for his opinion to buy a hairpin. But Tsubasa also picked up a bracelet he liked, and then they took a bus to reach Azora town. And as they got close to their destination, Minami closed Tsubasa's eyes and led him to a place that's mesmerizing everywhere he could look, Tsubasa wanted to see Cherry Blossom, and Minami picked this park as a surprise, Minami was happy that Tsubasa loved her surprise, so they roamed around the park, took many pictures, and there Minami told him she visited this place once with her family before. Then there they asked an old couple to get a picture for them, and Minami took Tsubasa to a shrine at the top of the hill. Minami wished to get back here together with Tsubasa even after many years, and Tsubasa was hoping to develop his relationship if that happens, then after praying while they were looking around, Minami got excited to ride a go-kart, but looking at Tsubasa, Minami knew Tsubasa had never rode a go-kart, so they took a ride and had fun together, they tried out many things and at the end of the day bought an ice cream to enjoy. But it was time to head back home, and there Tsubasa gives the bracelet he saw at the shop, but to make it even more lovely, Minami asked Tsubasa to put it on her hand. Moments like this are actually the signs where things get lovely and the confession happens, so Minami just asked Tsubasa how they looked like to others today, and Tsubasa told her they looked just like close friends, he himself destroyed his own relationship before it even began and Minami really showed the expression of disappointment, Tsubasa could feel how bad he messed up, so he tried to make up by confessing. But there Minami told him she's leaving Japan to study abroad, she wanted to become a makeup artist. Because she saw Tsubasa and others were so serious about their dreams while Minami always messed around aimlessly, she felt falling behind and made her mind to achieve her dream as well. But Tsubasa really felt his heart broken that he hugged Minami in an instant and started crying without knowing it, but a park employee told them to get out because it's time to close the park, so they snapped back and thought of rushing to take the last bus, but the guy told them they missed the final bus already, so both called their parents to let them know, and Tsubasa told his father about his location. Hirota asked him if he wants to stay with his friend a bit longer there, and Tsubasa said yes. So he told Tsubasa to chill because his friend owned a hotel nearby. That's one kind of a golden chance and both of them goes to that hotel to spend the night. Minami told this to her mother so she was fine with it, and Mai was flushed out that her daughter is already spending a night out, she was having a dinner with Tsubasa there filled a bunch of new dishes, but while they were heading back, Tsubasa was freaking out to spend a night in a single room with Minami. Minami took the dibs on the shower first, which freaks out our boy. Tsubasa was still freaking out, and started imagining things about the get-go, because Minami was always the type who teased him like this from the beginning, so he thought to watch the TV and remembers his time at the park and about her leaving for abroad, so when Minami got out of the shower, she saw Tsubasa was sound asleep and kissed him for the last time, because she decided to leave and left the note behind, and after that happened, Tsubasa never got online or contacted Sayuri, but their Asuka. An old friend of hers, came in with Hina, she invited Sayuri for a karaoke, but Sayuri declined. So Asuka told Sayuri to hang out with her outside more to get a boyfriend at least, but looking at her reaction Hina thought Sayuri has someone already, Sayuri got super shy and that confirms it, but there Minami walked in with her mom and told everything about her plans to Sayuri, she was much thankful to Sayuri, because Sayuri's advice made her realize she needs to work for her dream. Minami felt blessed for having such funful days with her and others, but she knows she can't go on like this.
she saw everyone works hard for their dreams. So Minami then decided to become just like them by studying abroad, but her flight was arriving soon so she left, and Sayuri tells Tsubasa that Minami was leaving today, dude was totally miserable after being ditched that day, he still had that letter and somehow he couldn't bring himself to meet her, but Tsubasa knew he would regret never seeing her off, he saw that he had the hairpin of Minami. So he made up his mind and begged his dad to take him to the airport, his father had a online meeting in a while, but looking at Tsubasa, Hirota changed his plans knowing his kid has grown up. And meanwhile, Mai was trying to cheer up Minami about abroad, but she was still lost in her own thoughts while looking at her phone, and dad and son duo were just on there while the flight announcement for passengers happened, so Mai goes to the washroom and Minami was heading down to the flight, but she was so lost she didn't hear that Tsubasa was calling her and got surprised when he pulled her. There he gave her the hairpin he had and Minami got super shy, Minami was still putting up with. Smile and Tsubasa tells her how happy he felt all the time he shared with her and others. He loved all of the moment that he get to spend with her and Tsubasa felt like he could wait for her no matter how long it takes until she comes back, but Minami told him she's going abroad for only two weeks, she should have told him this sooner, so dude said all those cliche things for nothing, but Minami still loved it as she was excited herself to actually go out of Hokkaido for the first time, and just like that, she left. But then, two weeks passed in an instant, and at school, Tsubasa brought something for lunch. The look on his face could tell everything that he knew Minami was coming back home today, and the snacks he brought were for Minami, and she started eating them in the ongoing class. And just like that, the anime comes to an end, so hit the like button if you enjoyed the anime, and if you haven't seen any episode of this anime, then go to the description, I have given the link of the playlist, so watch all the episode if you like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more new and upcoming anime, until then, take care.